Hello and welcome to the first of three videos on the basics of Yuhi's Satin Tape Construction Kit, each covering one of its three modes of operation, Studio, Delay and Flange. Studio mode is Satin's straight up tape and tape deck emulation option, giving you everything you need to dial in stunningly realistic saturation effects with all the glorious non-linearities inherent in magnetic tape and its mechanical playback system. While you can go deep into the minutiae of Saturn's virtual tape machine in the service panel to really fine-tune its behaviour, here we'll be focusing on the workflow involved in using the plug-in in single and group setups, keeping largely to the three main controls, input, output and speed, when it comes to the sound shaping side of things. Here we have the stemmed mix of Blackberry Schwartz Brzezinski's Power to Fly with Marion Gold on vocals. It comprises six drum tracks, one bass track, three guitars, and main and backing vocals. Let's start with some single channel processing. Inserting satin onto the guitar one channel and gradually raising the input level drives the signal increasingly hard into the default tape setup. The output volume level stays constant because we have Makeup Active, which simply counters input gain changes at the output stage. We can still use the output knob to offset this balance though. As we're using the cleaner, modern tape type, it takes a lot of input gain to make a significant difference to the sound. Modern tape is a good choice for less overt, more controllable saturation. Nonetheless, with the input at max, the guitar becomes considerably crunchier, fizzier and generally edgier. The vintage tape mode distorts more easily and begins to lose top-end coherence at lower input levels than modern tape, so switching to it gives the guitar a dirtier, more retro vibe. The tape speed is controlled by the speed IPS knob, which defaults to 15 IPS, inches per second. Speeding the tape up to the maximum 30 inches per second improves treble response and overall fidelity, and reduces noise. Slowing it down to the minimum 1.87 IPS rolls off the top end, emphasizes the low mids and increases noise. The pre-emphasis knob controls a pre-record head high shelving filter that can be used to compensate for gap loss introduced by the record head, as defined by the gap width parameter and tape speed. We won't get into the details of that here, but suffice to say that pre-emphasis can also be used to achieve similar results to a regular high shelf EQ, although influenced by the controls in the service panel. The Compander section emulates your choice of five noise reduction encoder and decoder types. As well as being useful for digitizing tapes recorded with noise reduction active, different combinations of encoder and decoder impart coloration and excitement. This can be particularly effective on vocals, enabling the so-called Dolby trick to be employed, a presence-enhancing effect created by encoding the signal without subsequent decoding. Here are our backing vocals with the Compander at 75% wet mix, set to the Dolby A mimicking A-type mod encoder and no decoder.
We've also got the bypass tape switch engaged so that all we get is the encoding effect with no saturation. Don't look back, you ain't going this way. Notice the sheen and brightness that the encoding brings to the signal. At a fundamental level, that's really all you need to know to be able to apply tape saturation to individual sources with satin. However, tape saturation is at its most effective when built up across a whole mix for a cumulative gluing effect. To that end, satin makes multi-track operation easy with its group function. Every instance of satin running in studio mode in a door project can be assigned, or not, to one of eight groups. The changes made to any one member of the group automatically made to every other member at the same time. Groups are freely nameable, drums, guitars, vocals, etc. And individual parameters in any instance can be made immune to group changes by right-clicking them and selecting Lock. This our full mix, with satin inserted on every channel of the mixer, all assigned to Group 1, which we've called Mix Group. We're effectively simulating multi-track tape recording, as each channel hits its own track on the virtual tape, but with the convenience of being able to adjust the controls of all satins together from any one of their interfaces, including bypass and preset selection. Now let's say we want to apply the Dolby trick described earlier to just the main and backing vocals and boost their output levels, but we don't want to remove them from the group. Simply right click the encoder menus for the satins in question and select lock. Then do the same for the output knobs. Now we can tweak those parameters in these two instances of the plugin without the rest of the group slaving to them, or adjust them for the rest of the group without these two being affected. Lock also keeps parameters fixed at their current value through preset changes. With eight groups available, there's plenty of scope for more advanced mix processing too. Here we have three satin groups set up, one for the six drum tracks, one for the three guitars, and another for the two vocal tracks, alongside a single instance on the bass. Now we're effectively running our group bus mix out to four separate tape machines with single interface control over each one. Try doing that in your non-virtual studio. You might be wondering what the point is in running so many instances of satin in the mixer when you could just set up a mix bus for each instrument group in your door and insert a single plug-in into each one. Well, apart from the lock feature, which enables chosen parameters of individual group members to be tweaked in isolation, the sonic effect of multiple parallel satins can be very different to that of a single satin applied to multiple channels. Here's our grouped mix from earlier with another satin, set up exactly the same as those in the group, placed on the mix bus. Here the difference is we AB the group against the single instance. Since I was a kid, show like the same dog from time to 
Finally, Saturn also works wonders as a virtual two-track recording deck at the end of your mastering chain, imbuing your two-channel mixdowns with everything from subtle warming to full-on tape overdrive. Black, 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 black. 